We'll come back, guys, and let's start with the logical operators. The first logical operator is, is not, and this is the symbol of not. Remember, the symbol was used if I want to skip some output of a function, uh, of a user-defined function, or of any other function in the library of MATLAB. So not, guys, not, like b equal not a. Here, this not is different than the not used in the relational operator, because in the relation operator, we have used, let's say, b not equal to a in order to check if b is different than a. Now, here we are defining b as not a. So, there is a difference between these two commands, and let's find this difference in my lab. So, basically, I'm going to define a as 1, b as 2. I know that a and b are different because they are not equal. So if I'm going to use the relational operator, I have to say a not equal b. And in this case, the answer will be, of course, 1 because a is not equal to b. The logical operator not is used as following, a equal not b. Now what's the difference here? In this relational operator, I'm only checking if A and B are different, and the answer is 1 because they are really different. Now here, I'm defining A as not B, as if I'm assigning the value of not B to A. Now not B is what? Not B is not 2. 2 means true, then not B is 0. So A equal not b means I'm defining a as not b, which is here, is equal to 0. So guys, I'm defining a here. I'm not checking the relation between a and b like the case of relational operator. So even guys here, if you don't have a in new variables, like for example, I'm going to define c is not, sorry, B, C is not equal to B. Even if I'm not defining C before this command, it will work because, in fact, you are putting, you are assigning the value of not B inside the variable called C. In the relational operator, if I need to check if they are different, I should know previously A and B. So I cannot say, let's, let's say, D not equal to B because, in fact, B is not defined. So this is the difference between not in the relation operator and not in the logical operator. Not in the relation operator is written before the equal sign to check if this relation, if the different relation is valid. Not in the logical operator is used after the equal sign. And in this case, I'm defining not variable to or not value to the variable uh, defined before the equal sign. Now, the second logical operator is AND. AND has only a true answer if A and B are both true. And it has zero or it has false for anything else. So if A and B are true, then AND will give me a non-zero answer. If A and B if one of, of these two uh, uh, variables or of these two statements is not true, then A and B will give me zero. So this means, or will give me false. So this means, guys, that A and B is true if A and B are true, and A and B is false for anything else. We will see now the true and false table, or the truth table. Or is Totally the opposite. A or B is false if only both A and B are false. Which means, guys, if one of them is true, then the answer will be true. Now, what is the difference between one and and two ands? One or and two or? Basically, one and could be used between two numerical values. Now, two ends is used if I have two logical statements. So that's why, guys, put on your mind that and and or or are used in case of if 
statement. So I have a, if I have a condition, I cannot use one and or one or. I should use two ands and two or. So it, it is used inside the condition. All right, and it is used basically if two if these two upper ends are both logical statements. So guys, you can try all of this. So here I have an array of x, an array of y, and I need not x. So here, guys, this is a logical operator, not x. Now. I know that this not is not defined here after the equal sign, but this is basically because I'm not defining the variable that should be equal to not x. So MATLAB will assume that this variable is ns, as if I'm saying ns is equal not x. So not x will be what? It will be 1 if the element is 0, or 0 if the element is not 0. So basically 0 here means it is 1, 3, the opposite of 3 is 0, the opposite of 9 is 0. X and Y, X and Y, this and here, is only true if both of them are true. So I know that the first element of X is not true, so 0 and 4 will give me 0. Now both of these elements, even if it is negative, they are true. So the answer will be 1, 1. X or Y, in fact, X or Y is 0 only if both of them are 0. I don't have both elements that are zero at the same time so that's why they are both they are all one because zero or four is one also because i have false or true so it is true but false and 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 true or false and true is false okay so this is the difference between and and or x is greater than y this is a relational operator basically this will give me what zero one zero now, if I'm going to use find x and y, so here goes, I'm putting inside find a condition or a relational operator. x and y means if x and y is true, then find will give me the index of the element that has a true statement. I'm going to start first. This is how MATLAB will do this. MATLAB will start by x and y. What is the answer of x and y? We have the answer of x and y here. It is 0, 1, 1. And then since I'm using find, then find will give me the indices of the true elements. So the true elements are the second and the third one. Then this means that my answer is 2 and 3. MATLAB will skip the first element because it is 0. So guys, usually in find, I cannot predict the size of the output. The size of output is a flexible. It depends on the input. I cannot say that the find output will be the same size of arrays x and y. Never. Because the size of find is equal to the size of array of all true elements, right? So that's why x and y here have the size of 3, while find has the size of 2. Now here, guys, x and y and x or y. So I know how MATLAB starts with this. MATLAB will first start with x and y, and then MATLAB will do x or y, and then MATLAB will do the combination and between this answer and this answer. So since I have 0 here, so the answer of the first element is 0, 1, 1. So this is the answer. And so on, guys. You can do it. Now, guys, let's do this because it's important. y of x and y. y of x and y. How is this possible? Yes, it is. Because, in fact, x and y will give me this one, this row vector. Then if I'm saying y of this row vector, means y of, skip the first element, y of the second element, and y of the third element. y of the second element is minus 2, and y of the third element is 9. So this is the answer, and you can do it by yourself. Now, guys, if I'm going to move to the truth table here, if x and y are both true, then x and y will be true. And this is the only condition when x and y will give me a true. Okay, all other conditions, all other, uh, all other, uh, yes, conditions will be false for and. Now, I know that all is the totally opposite. If both of them are false, then all will give me false and anything else will be true. So at least one true will give me a true answer for all. Now, not x, it is the opposite of x. If x is true, then not x is false. So you can see that they are the opposite. 
I have also what is called the XOR, XOR. XOR means if they are similar, then the answer will be false. If they are different, then the answer will be true. And this is what happens here. True, true, they are similar, then the answer is false. False, false, similar, then the answer is false. And now here, true, false, false, true, both answers are true. Now also you can you can try this uh, these two built-in functions, all and any. All basically turns one if all the elements in X are non-zero and zero otherwise. And of course here, since I have a matrix, so, so it will be uh, column by column. Now all A, uh, now any A, sorry, any A will return is one if any of these elements is non-zero. So it has the same principle as all, while all has the same principle of X. Now guys, I'm going to do this example. It's a very important example, but I advise you guys to, uh, to think about it first to try to do it uh, uh, by yourself before seeing the solution. Thank you.